Hello and welcome to Gothenburg Public Schools as we have the C111 Girls Sub District Final between the Ogallal Indians and the Gothenburg Swedes. I'll and your host, Kellen Strasser. Get you ready for this game and Gothenburg wins the tip. Gothenburg looks down low, gets it down low, kicks it back out. Three-point shot, up, missed, and an offensive rebound by Claire Everett. Goes back up and misses, and Ogallala gets off. Defensive rebound, and we'll clear it. Right, post up down low, kick it out for a three. That shot is way off by Ogallala, but they get the offensive rebound, go up, miss it. And Aubrey O'Hare gets the rebound and clears it for Gothenburg. And Gothenburg setting up their offense with Ogallala running their 2-3 zone. Cross-court pass to Ashlyn Richardson. Fakes the pass, goes back to Aubrey O'Hare. This is the three. Ashton Richardson gets the rebound, goes back up, misses, and then is tipped out of bounds by Ogallala. Gothenburg will still have the ball. Gothenburg gets it in. Pass it to Ashton Richardson. That one shot is off, and Ogallala gets it and pushes up the floor. And they slow down a little bit. They pull it out and slow it down a little bit, trying to set up something. Get it to the top. Down, they're trying to post down low, looks like. And that pass is through their hands, a little all, and will be a turnover and go back to Gothenburg. Get to the high post right there. Passes back out. Gets it down low to Alex Beveridge. And she gets fouled as she goes up for the shot. She'll be heading to the line to shoot two. That foul is on number 14, Marilyn Irwin. That's her first foul of the game. And Alex Beveridge is at the line to shoot two. She misses the first one. The second one is a make, and that will open the scoring for both teams as Alex Beveridge hits a free throw. Uh, and there's a steal by Gothenburg. And they're going. And Aubrey Hill with the layup. Two points for Gothenburg. And a steal by Gothenburg again. And they bring it up. They're trying to set something up on offense. They get it to the high post to Taryn. And she travels. <laughs> and Ogallala will have the ball off the travel. Gothenburg running their uh, full court press here. Seem to work pretty well. They forced two turnovers off it right already. Ogallala gets it in to half court and will set up their offense. Three-point shot missed by Ogallala, and Ashlyn Richardson gets the rebound and clears it. Oh, and then she throws it away. And there's a turnover. And she steals it right back and gets it to Alex Beveridge. Alex Beveridge takes it all the way, throws up a shot, and goes out of bounds. Ogallala steps out of bounds, and Gothenburg will stay with the ball. There's a little bit of a wild sequence there by 
both teams. And in for Gothenburg is number one, Zoe Beveridge, and number four, Halsey Tamala. They get it in to Alex Beveridge. She takes it, gets it to Aubrey O'Hare. She pump fakes, dribbles into the middle high post area. Gets there. Gothenburg's passing around. Finally gets it up to Alex Beveridge, who shoots a three, misses it. But Halsey Tamala tries to go for the rebound and hits it out of bounds, and it will go to Ogallala. And in for Ogallala is number five, Hayden Shaw. Now, looks like there's an official timeout. Not quite sure what's going on here, but there was an official timeout, and they set the reset the time to 4:23. Looks like a clock issue there, so they get the clock reset to the right time, and we'll get back to basketball. They get it. Ogala gets it in in the press and throw it, and she, oh, she gets it down low and passes back out. Three point shot missed by Ogalala and. Zoe Beveridge gets it for Gothenburg and will go up the court. She drives in, kicks out to Taryn, gets it out to Alex. Alex tries to drive in and she gets fouled. That will be a foul on Ogallala. That foul is on number five, number four, uh, Mallory Murphy. That's her first foul of the game, second team foul. Gothenburg will stay with possession here. They just pass it into Halsey Tamala. She's a three and misses it. And Ogallala gets it. And they will try to push her up court and set up their half court offense. They get it. They drive in. Throw up a wild shot. Miss it. And Gothenburg gets the rebound. And they push up the court. Get some, hits it to the corner. Saren gets it up to the top. Gets it. Shoots a two. Misses it. And Ogallala gets the rebound. And they, Ogallala's got numbers. Nope, no, they don't. They slowed it down. Got it to the high post. That goes off of Ogallala, and we'll go back to Gothenburg. Back in for Gothenburg is number 15, Ashlyn Richardson, and number 22, Clara Everett. Gothenburg has the ball off the inbounds pass, off the turnover by Ogallala. They go up slowly, try to set up some offense. They drive in, kicks out for the three-point shot, and misses it again, but Taryn O'Hare gets the rebound, kicks it out to Ashland, gets it back to the post to Clara, goes up, misses it, gets her own rebound, gets back up again, and it's a two-pointer for Gothenburg. Clara Everett with the put back off her own miss, and Ogallala pushes up court and starts to set up her offense. Looks like a screen up top, they go drive in, and it's blocked by Clara Everett. And Clara Everett's pushing up court. Stops and steps. There's a jump ball. Try to get someone up on the to Fowler on the shot, but it will be a jump ball. And it will be Ogallala possession. And back in for Gothenburg is number 20, Alex Beveridge, and number four, Halsey Tamala. Ogallala gets a pass half court. They're going to try and go. Fast, stop, pop, for Ogallala missed, but Ogallala gets the offensive rebound. And then Ogallala throws it away, maybe, nope, they will, it's a jump ball, and the possession error is to Gothenburg. Gothenburg will get the ball back off that jump ball. And in for Ogallala is number one, Sadie Flansburg. <laughs> Gothenburg brings up to half court. They're trying to set up something on offense. A little good pump fake there by Gothenburg. Gets to the corner. Three-point shot missed. Gets her own rebound, and there'll be another jump ball in the jump ball. This time we'll go to Ogallala. Man, we're having a lot of jump balls here. Both teams really want the ball. Uh, this is a critical game. And back in for Gothenburg's number 23, Aubrey O'Hare.
Augsburg still in their full court press. And Ogallaw gets passed, and the ball is tipped, and there will be, that is out of bounds off Ogallaw, another turnover by Ogallaw. Man, this Gothenburg press is really working, it's forcing some turnovers by Ogallaw, and Gothenburg has the ball back off the turnover. Gothenburg is going slow, trying to stop something off on offense again. Nope, she picks up her dribble. And they're still going slow. They're just passing the round. Trying to find it right up. Takes it in. And there's a travel by Gothenburg. And it'll go back to Ogallala. And Gothenburg's still in that full court press. That seems to be working really well. And they just throw it up over the top. And they go in. And no, the basket will not count. And there's a travel violation on Ogallala. The ball will go back to Gothenburg. There's a lot of traveling and turnovers in this game. They're just trying to go too fast and it's just not working. Gothenburg's back on offense in the half court. They're trying to set something up. Oh, and there's a um, no turnover by Gothenburg trying to force the pass inside, and that'll be a turnover by Gothenburg. The ball will go back to Ogallala. And they get crashed half court, Ogallala does, and they're trying to set something up on offense. They get trapped in the corner, throws it out, gets it to a Ogallala player, misses a shot badly, and then Gothenburg clears it with the defensive rebound by Clara Everett. And Gothenburg's trying to set something up on offense. Nope, Zoe Beveridge just shoots the three and misses it. Claire Everett and Ogallala trying to fight for the rebound there, and Ogallala comes up with it. And Ogallala trying to push it up court, and that will stay with Ogallala as it was tipped by Gothenburg. And back in for Gothenburg is number 12, Taryn O'Hare. And... Also in the game, number four, Halsey Tamala. Ogala has it off the tip ball by Gothenburg. Trying to look for something to pass it in, see what they do. Gets to the corner. They post up, a low post, fadeaway shot, missed, and there's a defensive foul on Ogallala over the back. That foul is on number 14, Marlene Irwin. That's her second of the game, third team foul of this quarter. Gothenburg bringing up the court. They're trying to set something up on offense as they're going slow. Get it to the wing. Uh, Ogallad ratchet up their pressure, gets it to the corner. Back to the wing, passes it down low, and that pass was a little too far for Halsey Tamal and out of bounds, and we'll go back to Ogallala. Oh! What a block by Ashton Richardson from behind. It'll stay with Ogallala. And there is a jump ball, and it'll go to Gothenburg. <laughs> Gothenburg has possession with 25.3 seconds left in the first quarter as they lead 5-0 over Ogallala. <laughs> They're starting to get up. The pressure starting to ratchet up for Ogallala. Defense kicks it to the corner. A little too high and goes out of bounds and we'll go back to Ogallala with 10.5 seconds left in this quarter. Gothenburg still in their press. Seems to be working really well for them in this first quarter. Ogallala gets it in. And they're going with it. And they have it tipped out of bounds and the missed throw by Ogallala. Forced the press forces another turnover. And with 3.2 seconds left, Gothenburg will have the ball.
They get it in. Another shooter. That shot is missed by Aubrey O'Hare, but that's okay. That was the shot at the end of the quarter. And at the end of the first quarter, Gothenburg leads 5-0 to zero against Ogallala. Our surgery center was voted best of the region because of our comprehensive care. We respect your requests because you are not just our patients, you are also our neighbors. I am from this area and proud to partner with Gothenburg Health along with other specialists throughout the state. We provide excellent, highly specialized care. I'm here for you to provide transitional care and assist you in every step of your healing journey. We exist to be healthcare leaders. Gothenburg Health, it's who we are. To start the second quarter, Ogallal will have the ball. We'll see if these team, two teams can get their offenses going a little bit. Not usually what they do is have this type of scoring output, but we'll see if they can get some offense going. As it's, and an early turnover by Ogallala again. So yeah, pressure is starting to turn up, and turnover by Ogallala will give it back to Gothenburg. Go inside, kick it back out to the three-point line to Taryn O'Hare. Gets it back to Ashwin Richardson to the top to Aubrey O'Hare. Gets it to Taryn. Back to Ashwin, tips it. Gets it down low to Alex Beveridge. Gets it back out to Taryn O'Hare and passes to Aubrey. They slow it down. Gets it to Claire Everett. Kicks it out to the corner to Alex. Up to the top to Ashwin. So you guys are great pump fake. Back to Alex Beveridge. Foul for three! Three pointer for Alex Beveridge. Ogallala picks up their dribble in a weird spot there, but they get it, find someone to pass it to, and gets it to the wing. Set a screen, go back up to the top, trying to set something up on offense. And, and they get it down low, gets it to the other block, and tries to find someone. And the two point shot is missed, but she is fouled. That will send number 11, Aylin Kane, to the line to shoot two. And that foul is on 23, Aubrey O'Hare. That's her first of the game and first team foul for Gothenburg over the quarter. That shot is no good by Ogallala. And they'll have one more shot at the line here. And that is good. That is the first point of the game for Ogallala. They get on the board with a free throw. And that's a great pass by Ashlyn Richardson and Claire Everett goes up and it's a two pointer. Claire Everett with the two. And they're still getting this press on by Gothenburg. They're backing off a little bit, but they're still got it on a little bit. Looks like they're Oh, get down to low and goes up, and there's a two pointer by Ogallala. Alfenberg brings it back down court, kicks out for a three pointer to Aubrey, and that just rims out, and she gets her own rebound, goes up for another three, and it's good! Three pointer for Aubrey O'Hare! And Ogallala inbounds it, gets it before the press can get on, and Gets it up court and starts to set up an offense. Kicks it to the top. Back to the corner. Shoots a three-point shot way off. And tipped out of bounce by Gothenburg. And it'll stay with Ogallala. And back in for Gothenburg is number four, Halsey Tamara. And number one, Zoe Beveridge. And timeout, Ogallala. 
We strive for excellence in therapeutic care, helping you get back to living the life you want to live. It's important to me to spend intentional time with each patient. You are so much more than a number to us at Gothenburg Health. I believe where you live shouldn't determine the quality of care you receive. With direct access, we can help you live your best life. We exist to be healthcare leaders. Gothenburg Health, it's who we are. All right, back at the Ogallala timeout. Ogallala will have the ball. Trying to find someone to pass it into. They do. They're down a low block. Trying to find someone there. And they kick it out to the corner. As it drives baseline, tries to go up and hits the bottom of the rim. And there is an offensive rebound by Ogallala and then a foul by Gothenburg. That foul is on number four, I believe. Yep, number four, Halsey Tamal. That's her first foul of the game. And the Gothenburg second team foul of this quarter. And they get it in to the corner. Try to go in. Gets a little running jump. Misses it. And an offensive rebound by Ogallala. And they try to set something on the offense. And they're trying to they get the handoff. And they go back up to the top and set something up. And look for someone to pass it to. They go down to the low block, kicks it out to the top, and gets it back down low. Turn, shot, missed. By the wall, and Austin Richardson with a defensive rebound and then gets it up to half court and slows down. So it's something up on offense. Gets it to Zoe Beverage, brings it back up to the top. Yeah, same thing. They try to hedge that hard. Gets it to Aubrey O'Hare in the corner. She looks for the shot. And she goes, drives in. Goes up. Misses it. And Ogallala gets the uh, rebound. They push it. And they go in. Throw up a wild shot. And gets a rebound. Kicks it out for a three-pointer. That is good. Three-pointer by number five. Hayden Shaw with the three for Ogallala. And they go in, misses it, and Ogallala gets the rebound. Gothenburg makes that, misses that shot, and Ogallala gets the rebound, pushes up court, tries to set something up, gets it to the corner, trying to find someone, gets it down to the low block, fadeaway shot, missed, and Gothenburg with the defensive rebound. And they look to slow it down a little bit, Gothenburg does, and they do try and get something. As they try to, oh, the spin move. Shot, missed, just rims out by Gothenburg, and then uh, defense rebound pushes up court, and they tip it, and they try to save it, and she is out of bounds, turnover, Ogallala. Or maybe not, no, it looks like they got the timeout before out of bounds. Yep, timeout, Ogallala. Ogallala will have the ball. They throw it in. 
Try to set something up on offense. Kicks out to the wing. And goes right through the hands of an Ogallala player and a turnover by Ogallala. And Alex Beverage going, throws up a shot and is good. What a nice finish by Alex Beverage there for the two point shots. And Gothenburg back to their press. And there's another steal by Alex Beveridge. She gets it. And she is fouled on the way to the rim. That foul is on the goal at number five. Yep, number five. Hayden Shaw, that's her first foul of the game. First team foul of the quarter for Ogallala. And the ball inbounded a little weirdly by Gossenberg, but that's all right. They get the ball still. Out. Zoe Beveridge. Three-pointer. Zoe Beveridge. Gossenberg got to her press. It really seems to be working. They get it across and protect it and then get it set up their offense. They get it down low. Another fadeaway shot, and it's good. Two-point shot there by Madeline. Katsky. And then she's feeling hot. Uh, she missed it, but uh, Claire, it went right through Claire's hands and ended up in Ogallala's hands. And they push it up court and then set up something on offense. And they get back down low. Kicks out to the corner. That'll be a three-point shot missed. And offense, defense, offense, I don't know. And there's an over and back by Ogallala. And back in for Gothenburg is number 15, Ashlyn Richardson, and number 12, Taryn O'Hare. Man, that rebound was very weird. It's tipped everywhere, and Ogallala just grabs it on the wrong side of the court and goes back, steps back on the court on the back side. So that's illegal, and Gothenburg will have the ball. And that pass inside, tipped by Ogallala, and Ogallala has a steal. They try to set their offense, and they do. Gothenburg's rear really ratcheting up the pressure on defense here, and they get it into number two. Backside post now. She tries to spin, and she is fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Number 14, Marlon Irwin's going to the line to shoot two, and that foul is on number 23, Aubrey O'Hare. That's her second of the game. 13 foul for Gothenburg at this quarter. First one is good by Ogallala. And in for the game, into the game for Gothenburg's number 14, Ellie Wyatt, number four, Halsey Tamala, and number one, Zoe Beveridge. So get one more at the line. That one is short, doesn't even hit the rim, and so Gothenburg will have it. And back in for Ogallala is number one, Sadie. Landsberg. Uh, that throw was a little too far for Gothenburg and we go back to Ogallala. And back in for Ogallala's number three, Edmund Tittle, and number 11, Edlin McCain. Ogallala gets it in and tries to push, push it. They do get something set up now after they're getting half court. Gets it down low, tries to throw something up, and she is fouled. That foul will be on number one, Zoe Beveridge. That is her first of the game and 14 foul of the quarter for Gothenburg. And that will send number two, Madeline Katsky, to the line to shoot two. High arcing shot there, and it's a miss. And she'll have one more at the free throw line. Dang, that shot is so high arcing. And that's another miss, and Gothenburg gets the rebound, and then a foul on Ogallala. That foul will be on number one. And that 
is her first of the game. And back in for Gothenburg is number 20, Alex Beveridge, and number 22, Clara Everett. That foul was on the Mullen, Sydney Flansburg. That's her first. Second team foul of the quarter for Ogallala. Claire Everett tries to go in, kicks out to Taryn O'Hare, shoots a three, misses it, and Ogallala gets the rebound, and then is fouled. That foul is on, is on number 23, Aubrey O'Hare. That's her third foul of the game, and that's the 15th foul by Gothenburg, so Ogallala will be going to the line to shoot two with the new rules here in NCAA. And she misses the first one. This is number five, Hayden Shot. The line shoot one more. And back into the to the game for Gothenburg is number one, Zoe Beveridge. Or NSAA, I bet. But yeah, NSAA this year, they put in that five team fouls in a quarter equals two free throws. Three point shot is missed by, is missed by Gothenburg. Then there's a foul on the rebound by Ogallala. That foul is on number two, Madeline Katsky. her first foul of the game and then and Ogawa's coach got a warning I believe yep looks like he got a warning he, next time it will be a technical foul on Ogawa's head coach if he so and into the corner and that shot is blocked Oh, uh, Gothenburg will stay with the ball here, though. Looks like back in for Gothenburg, or back in for Ogallala is number 14, Marlon Irwin. Three-point shot is good! Three-pointer for Zoe Beveridge! And I guess the Gothenburg fans really fired up. And, oh, almost a steal by Gothenburg. Now, they Ogallal sets up their offense. They almost pulled the trigger on that three. Doesn't. And passes it across court. And gets it down low to number two. Kicks it back out. And then to number 11. They're, look, they're looking for number two a lot. And then that was tipped by Gothenburg. And it'll stay with Ogilaw with exactly 10 seconds left on the clock for Ogilaw to run something before this half is over. Looks like they're trying to pass it in. They do. Probably could have been a five second call. It doesn't matter if the turnover by Ogilaw. Steal by Ashley Richardson. Passes up court. What a pass. Full court pass by Clara Everett and the two point by Alex Beveridge. And that will do it for the. And in the second quarter, Gothenburg leads 23 to 10 at halftime. Our surgery center was voted best of the region because of our comprehensive care. We respect your requests because you are not just our patients, you are also our neighbors. I am from this area and proud to partner with Gothenburg Health along with other specialists throughout the state. We provide excellent, highly specialized care. I'm here for you to provide transitional care and assist you in every step of your healing journey. We exist to be healthcare leaders. Gothenburg Health, it's who we are.
We strive for excellence in therapeutic care, helping you get back to living the life you want to live. It's important to me to spend intentional time with each patient. You are so much more than a number to us at Gothenburg Health. I believe where you live shouldn't determine the quality of care you receive. With direct access, we can help you live your best life. We exist to be healthcare leaders. Gothenburg Health, it's who we are. Our surgery center was voted best of the region because of our comprehensive care. We respect your requests because you are not just our patients, you are also our neighbors. I am from this area and proud to partner with Gothenburg Health along with other specialists throughout the state. We provide excellent, highly specialized care. I'm here for you to provide transitional care and assist you in every step of your healing journey. We exist to be healthcare leaders. Gothenburg Health, it's who we are. Our surgery center was the We strive for excellence in therapeutic care, helping you get back to living the life you want to live. It's important to me to spend intentional time with each patient. You are so much more than a number to us at Gothenburg Health.
I believe where you live shouldn't determine the quality of care you receive. With direct access, we can help you live your best life. We exist to be healthcare leaders. Gothenburg Health, it's who we are.
because of our comprehensive care. We respect your requests because you are not just our patients, you are also our neighbors. I am from this area and proud to partner with Gothenburg Health along with other specialists throughout the state. We provide excellent, highly specialized care. I'm here for you to provide transitional care and assist you in every step of your healing journey. We exist to be healthcare leaders, Gothenburg Health.
We strive for excellence in therapeutic care, helping you get back to living the life you want to live. It's important to me to spend intentional time with each patient. You are so much more than a number to us at Gothenburg Health. I believe where you live shouldn't determine the quality of care you receive. With direct access, we can help you live your best life. We exist to be healthcare leaders. Gothenburg Health, it's who we are. We strive for excellence in therapeutic care, helping you get back to living the life you want to live.